A lot of people in the past, and it still happens, have broken the ears, the, this section right here, off of the wheel hub that drives the speedometer. Which is the two tabs there and there that interface with these two ears on this aluminum hub. Now, there's ways to get around it if you break those. I'm not going into that right now. And it's honestly the right way to fix it is to replace the entire hub or wheel, whichever. Um, these don't get interfaced properly when the wheel gets put back on and that is part of the problem another part of the problem is I have seen even shops do this matter of fact scratch babble Jim his bike is currently this way I've, you see this little nub sticking out right here see these two nubs here when you put the wheel on that interface is right there so that it the the hub here cannot twist the axle goes through there those two nubs on the speedometer housing slide across either side of that one on the fork housing this is the correct orientation what you'll see is people that have them bent like that which puts too much stress on the cable and breaks it it also tries to spin forward with the wheel which breaks stuff really quickly the way I see them most of the time sorry I'm having to look at two different things at one time and holding my uh, phone here but this is how Jim's is and several other people's that I've seen and all I do is give them warnings that it's wrong but that puts too much stress on the cable also it is meant to be done correctly that's why there's an alignment for it to hold it in place so this can't rotate either direction put any undue stress on anything but it lines everything up line up and I'm sorry if there's not good lighting out here but line that nub up with these two down the middle look at your angle make sure you can't rotate it once you have the axle in but it shouldn't be pointing this way it shouldn't be pointing almost horizontal <laughs> all right so there's the correct orientation for this and see i don't have the nut on the other side of the axle uh, but I do have everything engaged it's the bolt the axles all the way through and see how I can't turn that either direction but the play that's allowed and the angle that this is pointing that is correct okay I'm about as level as I can be but the tires off the ground just FYI But there you go, that's uh, that's proper orientation. Alright, the final thing to remember. Final thing, sorry about the hand in front of the camera. Before you tighten this down, when you're putting this onto the housing, when this is sitting up above the threads, the cable innards go in first now it might not interface with the slot inside so as you're gently pressing it in there and if you move the wheel like that while you're sliding this in which means the cable itself is going into the housing it'll slot in and you'll feel it drop in then you can go ahead and screw that on and tighten it up and you're good to go also being one-handed here for a camera I couldn't show you but I took this off to clean it up but what I also did was I took this housing free of the cable because you need to, to be free of that to put this hub on 
or the speedometer housing with its two flanges to interface with the, the hub and you feel it pop into place and of course once it pops into place it slides between your fork ends flawlessly especially after you've spread your uh, brake pad so your rotor can slip back in between which that is what I actually started this last video for was if you've ever pressed your brake pads apart the first time you go to touch the brakes see if I can get both it took a long squeeze now it's a short squeeze basically you have to pump your brakes back up which you never want to touch your brakes on a hydraulic system when there's nothing in between the pads you can ruin the seals on the pistons but <laughs> If you've ever spread your uh, pads back apart, which is pressing in on the piston, you have to recompress your brakes. And if you don't do that and you take off for a test drive and you go to hit your brakes for the first time, it might come all the way back and nothing, depending on how far you spread the pads. So that was the other little thing I wanted to show you. But, you know, it only, now you can hear the pads are engaging a little more now anyways, but. There you go. That's, uh, that's how you do that. If you have any questions, uh, put it in the comments. I'll answer them for as long as I have time.